From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Brenda Molina Navidad. Several Canadian premiers are calling on the federal government to ramp up defense spending in order to protect the country's trade relationship with the U.S. At the closing news conference of a three-day meeting in Halifax, multiple premiers highlighted the importance of Canada's NATO commitment to spend at least 2 percent of GDP on defense. It comes as some Republicans in Milwaukee for the National Convention are calling for the U.S. to contribute less on the world stage as speakers are set to talk about the future of American foreign policy. The event is likely to touch on the U.S. future in NATO. Kimberly Wynn says she doesn't support the defense alliance. America strong and Donald Trump will take care of all the you know. China, everything in control. Meanwhile, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance will soon address the Republican convention in what will be his first speech as the party's vice presidential nominee. Ahead of the address, Vance told donors at a fundraiser in Milwaukee that Donald Trump has shown true leadership following Saturday's assassination attempt. As soon as I knew he was okay, I felt relief, and then I was like, I cannot believe an assassin tried to take down the President of the United States. I was mad about it. Was he mad and angry? He called for national unity. Trump is expected to speak tomorrow on the convention's final night. Applications are now open for a national transit fund that will include money for existing transit systems so they can expand, improve and modernize. Finance Minister Christia Freeland says the Canada Public Transit Fund has been in the works for months and was in the recent federal budget. This is $30 billion over 10 years. It's in the budget already, which makes me as finance minister happy. And it's money that cities and transit systems can apply for starting right now. The Liberals say the plan will complement the Housing Accelerator Fund by tying housing money to projects that are near public transit. The Prime Minister's office says the Liberal Cabinet will have a brief meeting this Friday. It'll mark the first time Cabinet ministers have come together since the Liberals' devastating loss in a Toronto by-election last month. The culinary phenomenon The Bear has captured a comedy record, 23 Emmy nominations. But reporter Jason Nathanson says another FX series grabbed the most nods. The first year FX series Shogun. War is coming. The Japanese feudal drama scored 25 nominations. And while that's not the most in history for a drama, it is the most for any show this year. I'm just realizing that I was wearing the same outfit last time I was here. Canadian actor Ryan Gosling earned his first Emmy nomination. It's for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for his stint hosting Saturday Night Live. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, Pro Football Hall of Famer Terrell Davis says a flight attendant was acting hostile towards him before he was handcuffed and removed from a United Airlines flight over the weekend. He says the attendant accused him of hitting him when he asked for more ice. Without any... What happened without explaining to me why they were doing it, they walk up to me and the guy just, he whispers in my ear, he says, don't fight it, and he puts cuffs on me. The airline says the flight attendant was removed from duty pending a review of the incident. Canada soccer is withholding the result of a closed-door friendly today between the 8th-ranked Canadian women's national team and 36th-ranked Nigeria. Real Madrid says a Spanish court has given a suspended eight-month prison sentence to a person who racially insulted soccer stars Vinicius Jr. and Antonio Rudiger in the comment section of a popular Spanish sports news website. From the Canadian Press, I'm Brenda Molina Navidad. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the CanadianPressNews.ca.